A gift from the high school football gods today. Bismarck and Century playing in a de facto WDA championship game. That was the Bismarck High student section singing me. We wish you a Merry Christmas. How nice is that? All right, to the game. Century leads six to nothing in the second quarter. Century's K Garcia. He gets the corner and he is in. Century up 13 to nothing. Then after a Bismarck score to make it 13 to seven, the Demons go with the onside kick and they recover the ball. So a surprise there. Then on fourth down, looking to capitalize off the surprise onside kick. Mason Stotts, he makes the field goal and the score is 13 to 10. After both, then both defenses stepped up and it was not a point score for the remainder of the half as the score was 13 to 10 at the break. But Century goes on to win the WDA title and the number one seed with a 20 to 10 win. Over at Legacy, the Sabres need to win and then Hope might not lose us to qualify for the state playoffs. We start in the first quarter with Legacy up eight, but Dickinson is driving as Troy Berg takes the ball down to the one-yard line to set up first and goal. And then on the next play, Berg goes right up the middle to put Dickinson on the board. The score is eight to seven Legacy. But Legacy would have an answer on third and six. Rhett Clemens finds Brady Berman and Berman. He will take the ball down to the one-yard line. This was the last play of the first quarter. So to start the second quarter, it's going to be Rhett Clemens under center, and the keeper is in. Legacy extends their lead to 15-7. to They go on to win 29-19. to So Legacy did their job. Now they need Minot to lose to make the state playoffs. And this is the first quarter. Minot's Peyton Filion runs to the right and breaks a tackle before running it in for the score as the Magi go up seven to nothing. Later in the quarter, Williston's J.J. Williams takes the handoff and he explodes for a big run before fumbling the ball on the next play to give Minot possession. And after the turnover, Minot's Chase Burke takes the handoff and breaks through the pile before scoring the touchdown to put Minot up 14 to nothing. Minot goes on to win this one 41 to nothing.